Hey everyone, I recorded like five videos and then I went on my phone, because that's what I recorded on my phone, um, to like send them to myself so I could like put them on my computer and edit them and everything, and they were all gone. Other videos I've taken were all there, but all the piggy videos were gone. So I had to re-record it. Um, I'm going to try really hard from now on not to ramble on, which I guess is what I'm doing now, so I should shut up. <laughs> um, so... I don't know why I never thought of this before, and I don't know why I've never seen it before, because this is working out absolutely genius, at least for my cage anyway. Um, so I got this idea because some people do like half floors, where instead of making the second floor start at the top of a grid, it starts like a little bit down, so it's not actually two grids high, you know what I mean? Like, whatever. And originally this cage had like a... A two grid, when I say two by two, it doesn't mean feet, it means grid, and a grid's 14 inches. So I had a two by two second floor, and it was just a pain. The pigs, for some reason, did not like it, which is weird because they've always had two floors, but they didn't like it, so I took it down, and it was just sitting in my downstairs kitchen, like taking up space and whatever. So this, I cut it in half, which is what this is, and I turned it upside down. So now they have a little hidey hole under here. They go in there and they hide. And I like it because all four will go into it. Because I originally had, uh, let's see, they're under here, pig glues. And I had two of the purple ones. And those are the medium size, and then one big one. And they just, they're so bulky, like, you know what I mean? And because they're round, when you put it in a corner, there's, like, extra space that, I mean, the pigs can push their way to, but really they don't. So it takes up more room than it's worth. The pigs love them, but they only love them because they could hide in it. Like, they love anything they could hide in. And what I love about this, too, is that they could go on top. So it's almost like a second floor. Um, without being in second floor. So I just cut the, the second floor that I ordered in half and turned it upside down and there's that. Um, yeah. This is, I don't, like, this, when I ordered the Coroplast, I got two, two by three, um, bases and I just made a little doorway so they can get in and out because I was considering oh hey buddy I was considering doing the kitchen area bedding and this fleece which I don't think I'm gonna do so I don't know if I want to in case I ever did want to do that or if I ever redesigned the cage it'd be a lot easier just to patch up this little space than if I completely cut it one of the cut it if I completely cut one of the sides off because, like, this takes up room, and then this is, like, three layers thick now. Not that it's, a, it's like that, so it's not bad. They still have enough room. And they get floor time every day, so it doesn't really matter, but... Yeah. So, you know, I put the hay on top. They don't keep it on top, as you could see. Um, but they love it. And I like that they'll all go in it together. Because, like, the blue pig glue... Is supposed to be big enough for two pigs. They never would, bo you know, they would never have two pigs in it, like ever. So, this is good too because they all share. And there are two corner caves in case they don't feel like being with each other. Um, I feel like Snow White and Annabella use the corner caves the most. Um, the other day, Anara. Annabella and Snow White were all in one corner cave together, which I thought was adorable. So yeah, I just thought this was a good idea in case anybody was looking for new ideas. I figured I'd share it with you. Um, thank you for watching. I'm going to do another video on homemade toys. I'm going to do another video on what happens at a guinea pig checkup. Um, and I don't know, probably like a million other videos because I have a lot of guinea pig ideas guinea pig video ideas whatever um yeah i don't think i'm gonna do another cage tour just because i i change it so much there's really no point like i don't change the way the cage like the shape but i change you know where the toys go and i would be doing one every day if i tried to keep up with it so 
yeah. Basically, in my videos, I'm usually there in the cage anyway, usually, just because it's easier than watching them run around my room, because I can't, like, hold the camera and watch four pigs. It's kind of hard. So, then I'll do a floor time video. But just every video can't be floor time. I'm babbling. Um, yeah. So, that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye! Say bye, piggies!